USMLE is the United States Medical Licensing Examination which has been sponsored by the Federal of State Medical Board that is FSMB and NBME that is National Board of Medical Examination of USA. Greetings to all of you dear students. And today we will discuss a very important subject and a topic, the USMLE, the United States Medical Licensing Examination. Many of the Indian students and many students are studying in foreign medical institutions. Uh, they are very keen to know about USMLE because that is a gateway to getting post graduation in United States. It is a gateway to practice medicine in the United States. It is also a gateway to come back to your country in India and you are not eligible for appearing for your next or your FMG examination because the eligibility and the acquisition of US MLE certification is good enough for you to come back and register yourself in National Medical Commission. So this is a very very important video that I am trying to reach out to you through this video to explain to you about USMLE. So please listen to me carefully and in case you have any doubts, any comments you wish to post upon this, please feel free to post your comments. In my next video, I will answer all your queries that arise out of this video. So what is USMLE? USMLE is the United States Medical Licensing Examination which has been sponsored by the Federal of State Medical Board that is FSMB and NBME that is National Board of Medical Examination of USA. And the USMLE examination step 1 and 2 is conducted by ECFMG that is Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates. Now coming to the various steps of USMLE. USMLE has three steps. Step 1, you can do after your basic sciences by being a medical student. Step 2, you can finish your clinical rotations and then you can do your clinical sciences. So step 2 is on clinical knowledge. And step 3, you can do while doing your residency in the United States because step 1 and 2 are sufficient to get you a residency in USA. Coming to the eligibility criteria for USMLE. Now this is important. For all international medical graduates, the eligibility criteria is that your school should be certified by the Educational Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates, that is ECFMG. How do you know your school is certified by ECFMG? So you will have to go into the World Directory of Medical Schools, enter your school's name under the search option. Thereafter, once the school appears, click on the school, there will be a sponsor tab. On the sponsor tab you click, you will find that ECFMG and Canada information is there. That means these sites are sponsored by ECFMG. So you will know that your school is ECFMG certified and you are eligible to appear for USMLE examination. Now what is the application process? The first step of this application process is to get an ECFMG or a USMLE identification number by registering yourself on the ECFMG website. Once you get that number, all communications, I repeat, all communications will be made using this number. You will have to fill in a form Form 186, after you go to ECFMG website, you will see that form, you fill that form. In that form, please write your name as per what is the name endorsed on your current passport, which is valid. Current valid passport, whatever your name is there, will be written as Pavan Kapoor, it should be Pavan Kapoor and spelt accordingly, you cannot change the spellings. If my spelling is P-A-W-A-N and if I write P-A-V-A-N then it is wrong information or incorrect information. So please be careful of putting your particulars on that form 186. 
your transcripts everything else will have to be verified by your school so the next step is verification by the school this verification can take place in two ways one is through an online portal that is your ecfmg medical school web portal or it can be done physically by sending it on a form 183 to philadelphia where the ecfmg headquarters lies so there are two ways of verification of your ecfmg application once you have been verified then you can go and schedule yourself for an examination for usmlt now please remember for scheduling you have a scheduling period and an eligibility period and a scheduling date so you please take an eligibility period after which you will get a schedule permit and then based upon that you apply for the schedule on which date you want to appear for the examination in a particular pro matric center this is valid for step 1 and step 2 examinations now pro matric centers are situated all over the world but to be specific in india we have pro matric centers in ahmedabad in bangalore in chennai in kolkata in new delhi in gurgaon in mumbai in pune so these are some of the pro matric centers from which you can get your scheduled date on which you would like to appear for your usmlt examination please remember that once you put in your date you can ask for an extension period within your eligibility period if you want to change your eligibility period you are allowed one time change of your eligibility period by paying us dollars additional also remember for each step you require to pay certain fees which are paid towards that uh, online system on an interactive web application how you do it what are the fees so you pay online and the fees for step 1 has been revised from january 2022 it is now 985 us dollars plus international service delivery charges which are 185 us dollars for step 1 and 210 us dollars for step 2 for step 1 and step 2 i repeat examination fee is 985 dollars and to this you add the international service delivery charges which is 185 us dollars for step 1 and 210 us dollars for step 2 for any change in eligibility period you have to pay an additional 100 us dollars so please try to do your scheduling within your eligibility period and appear for your examination on the due date now how many times can you appear for usmle step 1 step 2 you can appear for each of these steps four times you can appear for three steps in one year but the fourth step four time when you want to appear then the fourth appearance will be one year at least one year after your first attempt and at least 6 months after your recent third attempt when do you reappear for a test you reappear for test only if you fail in the test you cannot reappear for the test to improve your scores or improve your experience so you can only reappear for a test once you have failed in the test each test is valid for a certain duration of time based upon the state medical boards requirements it varies from state to state in usa now once you finish step 1 step 2 thereafter you can apply for an application for seeking interviews in various institutions for which different chargeable fees are charged you will be called for interviews and then you can opt for various issues based upon your performance in the interviews and then they do matching and after the match is over they inform you the way you have matched and where you should proceed for your residency now having said all this remember there are certain important changes that have occurred in this year change number 1 no longer step 1 scores 
will be based upon your three figure numeric score the step one score from this year onwards is going to be only pass or only fail number two from this year onwards you are authorized only four d takes or only four attempts earlier on there were six attempts this is the second change the third change is this earlier on step two had two steps clinical skills and clinical knowledge clinical knowledge was done through prometric centers as a multiple choice question but clinical skills were based on your skill testing competence testing in usa itself in six centers that clinical skill program or clinical skill testing has been discontinued from this year onwards it was not held in the previous two years because of covid but now it is no longer going to be a part of your step 2 examination you will only get your numerical figure score for step 2 examination these have been the significant changes in your us mle examination starting from the year 2022 so all i would like you to now do all of you i would request you to do is to please visit usmle.org website and ecfmg.org website download download their bulletin of information that bulletin of information will give you all the guidance that you need for applying and appearing for usmle examination so for today this is sufficient information that i would like to share with you we'll come back with the next video soon to tell you in details about usmle step 1 step 2 to tell you what are the resource material that are going to be required by you and what is going to be the content of usmle step 1 examination and usmle step 2 examination so till then goodbye best of luck happy going and jai hind thank you